the main package and the main function. So Go programs start and end in the main function, and that function has to be in the main package. And this main package code will be contained within a file called, in this case, main.go. And if we run that file, the main function will be executed. And we can import format, which is from Go standard library to print. And if we put multiple and run the file again, you can see hello world gets printed multiple times from the start of the main function to the end of the main function. So any code within this main function is the Go program. Okay, variables. You can declare a variable using the var keyword. So here we're declaring the variable x as an in int, and here we're initializing the variable by assigning the value one to x, so x equals one. Short variable declaration is a shortcut to declaring and initializing a variable. So instead of using both of these lines up here, we can just do y colon equals two, and this will both declare and initialize the variable y. So x equals x plus y, what do we think that this will print? And it prints three. Next is strings. So we're declaring a variable using the var keyword, which we're calling left, which we're declaring as a string. And then we're initializing it with the string value abc. And then we're using the shortcut to declare and initialize the variable called right with the string value def. So let's take a wild guess at what left plus right is going to print. And as you see, it prints the string abcdef. Slices. So a slice is just a way for us to store multiple values in one variable in sort of like a list format. So essentially, this is what this slice here that we're creating is going to look like. It's a slice of string, and the values that we want inside of the slice are A, B, C, D. And this entire slice here is just going to be named characters because it's a list of characters. And every item inside of a slice has an index, which is basically just a numbered position where the item is inside of the slice. So the first is always going to be zero. The index always starts at zero. So the first item in this slice is going to be index zero. And the last item in this slice will be at index three. So we can extract the value from the slice by using its index. So here we're assigning the character that's at index zero to first character. And here we're assigning the character that's at index three to last character. And if you paid attention to what indexes are, you'll know what's going to be printed here. So loops. So building off of slices, we can actually iterate through or loop through every item inside of a slice. And we can do that by using the slices index. So in this loop here, for every index in this range of characters or in this slice, we're going to print the individual index and then we're going to print the character at that individual index. And as you can see here, we print index zero, character A, index one, character B, etc. Conditional statements. So let's say that a passing grade is 65 and our grade is 64. If our grade is greater than or equal to a passing grade, then we're going to print you passed. Else, if our grade is not greater than or equal to the passing grade, then we'll print you failed. So let's see what prints here. So as you can see, you failed prints because our grade is 64, which is not greater than or equal to 65. So if we change this to 65 and we see what prints then, you can see that you passed gets printed because we passed. Functions. So outside of our main function, I created a function here and the function is called add two numbers and it takes in two parameters left and right. And since they're both an integer, we only have to put the type once and this is the return type of the function. So since we're simply returning the sum of left plus right, which are both integers, it's going to be an integer. And we're calling that function with left being one and right being two. And the result of this function, which is what's returned from this function here is going to get assigned to this variable sum. And then we're going to print this variable sum. So what do you think is going to get printed here? We get four. 